Okay, here are the magnet helic gauge. Okay, we're pretty much set to level. And we're uh, zeroed out with the uh, zero set. And we're going to start this thing up. Looks like we're going to settle down at 1.35. That's with a level. Now I'm going to put it out a level. Let's see where we're at on the out of level. Here we're about 10 degrees out of level. Fire it up again. Okay, looks like our number is about the same. We're going to try it the other way. Okay, we're uh, probably about the same. Same the other way, looks like maybe a little less, looks like 7.6 or something. Uh, out of level, let's try it again. Okay, looks like our number's about the same. Okay, I'm going to try taking this thing way out of level. <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like we're about 21 degrees out. I'm going to adjust the zero point. Okay, looks like about the same. Okay, put it up the other way. Here again, we're about 20 out. I'm going to set the zero. like we're about the same there. So it does not look to me like out of level makes much difference. Let's try another one. Okay, here we have it lying flat and the zero set is way out. We're going to go ahead and fire it up again. Now this way, we do find a difference of uh, from 0.35 to a little above 0.25, so it's laying flat. It does seem to make some difference. However, it does not seem to make any difference if it is out of level, even by quite a bit. So conclusion is on this thing, uh, the magna helix can be used uh, 
pretty much out of level, but it has to be mounted vertically. If it's laying down flat, it is going to be a little bit off. It's not a whole lot off, but it's off, so that's what we're going to call it. I do agree that uh, uh, for air flow measurements, sometimes the Magna Helix are best because they don't seem to fluctuate quite as much as some of the uh, some of the electronics. Although the electronics are getting a lot better. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty much what I found. If you use a Magna Helix, I'd use it in the vertical position, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference whether it's level or not. I would not lay them down flat horizontal. Okay, again, as I've said before, the Magna Helic gauge is a pretty accurate gauge, pretty delicate, easy to break or damage, uh, and you can only use it in uh, small increments. If you notice this one goes up to two inches of water column, that's the highest it goes. Uh, it would be, probably be okay for uh, static pressure measurements in duct work, but uh, manifold pressure is going to be a problem. Uh, because usually you get up to three and a half on most of these furnaces. I was, this was a manifold adjustment that I was doing, but it was uh, uh, on low fire, so it was only 1.35 uh, inches water column, so it could be red. These can be bought for any size. You can uh, get these, well, not any size, but you can get uh, 50 inches water column, so on like that. Advantage electronics have is usually the electronics will work over a wide range of pressures. And that's it on the old Magna Helic test. It's a good meter.